this video, we're going to take a look at some of the brand new features and updates to the Symbaloo platform. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Cook's Corner, education for educators. This channel is all about helping teachers like you grow in their craft. If it's your first time watching, welcome aboard. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you like what you see today. Okay, I know you already probably know what Symbaloo is. However, if this is new to you and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I want you to watch this video right here. It'll get you all caught up with the ins and outs and the basics of the Symbaloo platform. This video is really focusing on the highlights of some of the new features that they've rolled out for 2021. Now, if you're on the fence about whether or not you should use Symbaloo, this is definitely something you want to check out. Also, if you use it, it may be something that you didn't know about. So, without further ado, let's go check out some of the awesome new features of Symbaloo. One of the first updated features that I wanted to highlight is the add a tile or the tile search function. It's been completely revamped. Let's take a look at an example. So let's say we wanted to add Khan Academy to our web mix and we've got the URL up here. Over here in our grid, all we have to do is highlight under add new tile and when I click it, it automatically posts it. I don't have to copy paste it. It's already grabbing the URL for you. From there, you simply click add tile and boom, there you are. It's set and ready to go. It even pulls the icon from the website for you and gives it a nice label right in the center. If you'd like to add a new tile, but you're not exactly sure what website to pull from, you can utilize the updated search function. Simply click on add a new tile. Right off the bat, they're gonna give you a list of suggested tiles, but you can also do a keyword search. So if I wanted a website on math facts, simply type it in and it gives you your automatic top 20 results. IXL, Prodigy, Math Games, Cool Math Games, the list here goes on and on. You'll be amazed at what you'll find with just the click of a button. Up next is the updated share feature. It's located in the top central bar right here in the middle. When you click on it, it gives you tons of ways to one click share your web mix with students, parents, faculty members, whoever you're using this with. It can be as simple as copying the URL to your clipboard. Even better is the use of Google Classroom. And I want to highlight this for a second. You just click on Google Classroom. From there, it asks you to choose a class to send it to. In this case, I'm just using a test class. But if you had more than one class, there would be a long list here. From there, you choose an action. You can make it an assignment. You can make it an announcement. In this case, we definitely want to make it an announcement. And after you hit go, you simply leave a message in your announcement. And when you hit post, it's now directly in the stream of your Google Classroom. So you have one click Google Classroom sharing directly from your WebMix. Symbol is taking it even one step further though. You can actually embed your web mix within your classroom website. So if you're using Google Sites or Weebly, you simply click on the embed button, copy the code, and then here I'm using Google Sites for an example, but it'll work on all kinds of website builders. You just hit the embed button, paste the code, hit insert, and now all I have to do is resize it and publish. And now my Symbaloo webmix is embedded within my own Google site. Psst, did you know that I have a Google Sites course? It'll teach you how to be a master at it in less than two hours. The link's right here. There's a discount in the description. Go check it out. Okay, back to the video. Next up is the Symbaloo Gallery, and this is where you can find other people's public web mixes. They were created and shared by other users, and just like any other search function, you type in a topic or a keyword, and it will give you a search result listing of all the public web mixes that match that given topic. So for example, I typed in history, and when I hit search, I've got a list of all these different web mixes. From there, you can open one up. So let's choose Texas history. And you can see that now I have a web mix here with specific links to Texas history websites. From there, I just hit the add to web mix button. And at the top, you'll notice that it has been added as one of my own web mixes. But let's take it one step further. Let's say you wanna take this web mix and tweak it and customize it to your own content. You can do that. Simply go to the following lock pad, click on it, go down to stop updates and enable editing now you've got your own copy where you can edit it by moving it around you can delete tiles you can copy tiles just like you would with your own web mix you've taken a public gallery and you've made it your own to tweak how you see fit it's an amazing new feature not to be confused with galleries is the ability to add a public web space this is a collection of web mixes that go along with a specific theme for example if i scroll down to education and i click on this web space you will see at the top 
a whole host of web mixes specifically related to education. You've got language arts, math, science, social studies, coding, all the way across. Each one is a web mix full of links that you may not have ever seen before. The use of a public web space is a perfect addition to your Symbaloo account. Last but not least is the addition of a Symbaloo bookmarker Chrome extension. This makes it even easier to add websites as you're surfing directly into your web mix. You just simply go to the extension store and add it to Chrome. You'll know it's ready because you'll see the Symbaloo icon in the top right corner. So now if you're at a website and you want to add it automatically to a web mix, you simply click on the Symbaloo button in the top right corner. As you can see, it already populates it with an icon and a name, and then you simply click to choose the web mix that you want to send it to, in this case with my new Mr. Cook's class 2021-22, and then hit add this bookmark as a tile. And when you head to the Symbaloo web mix, you'll notice that it's already been loaded for you. It's in there, ready to go. One click, done for you. It's just another one of the amazing Symbaloo updates that they've added. If you're not on Symbaloo, you need to get it now. It's an amazing productivity tool that will help transform the way you share links and assignments and work with your students. Okay, at this point, you got two choices. Choice one, go to Symbaloo.com right now and get started or get updating. Choice two, watch some more videos, huh? See you next time at Mr. Cook's Corner. Bye.